Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a good day today. Now guys, in Arena Breakout, your storage is probably one of the most important things in your whole game career. Obviously, if you haven't got the room to store stuff you find in a raid, you know you're just going to end up having to sell it, and sometimes you might get some decent stuff, or you might have to sell old stuff to then store it. So guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how exactly you can expand your storage and sort it out and prioritize exactly what you want to keep in it at all times or just for general purpose. So stuff that you don't need versus stuff that you do need. So without further ado, guys, if you do as a massive favor, please hit that like button and make sure you do subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Right guys, welcome to the storage that's currently in my global account. This is the global early access server. Now, this is obviously being recorded in advance. So if you do think this looks a bit different than my current one, that is why. Now, my storage on the right here, as you can see, has got quite a few things in, but I've got quite a bit of space. And this is like sort of free stuff I got given during the the early access from the developers, you know, he has loads of stuff, I Ross, and just go nuts of it. Now, basically, there's two actual ways to expand your storage. Now, there's a paid expansion, and then there's stuff you can trade for in the game. Now, the paid expansion, if I scroll down here, is this highlighted area here where it's a different colour. You can see I can still put stuff in it. It's still usable. Now, this is from the veteran thing, which if I click event here, because this is just, this is what it is in here. If I can just double check what it's called, Prime. So this is Prime. Now, I'm assuming this is a paid thing. This is a membership that lasts about seven days to a month, I think it is. And it gives you daily login rewards, etc. But it also gives you 70 grids of storage space. So that's one way of doing it. That's the paid way. Now, the free way, is these things on the right here. Now, if I just expand this, you can see I've got a large E box, I've got a large weapon box, a mag case, and a huge misc box. And you can see I've, of course, got other ones down here, and you can expand these slots for premium currency eventually. So you can have up to five, I think, for free. Now, they're the two ways you can do it. Obviously, you can see, if I go back on that screen, sorry, that obviously, each storage box on here has storage is certain things. So, for instance, that's mags and ammo. That one's weapons and mags and ammo as well. This one's a misc box, so you can put absolutely anything in it. And this one sort of uh, stores your items and your, your trade goods and stuff like that. So, guys, the question I hear you asking now is how the hell do I get these uh, expansion crates as such for my storage? Now... <coughs> Excuse me. What you want to do is go into your contacts on the left here and go to Evita, which is the lady, and go to purchase. Now, you can only get it from these pers this person. Now, if you scroll down the left here, you can see the containers here, and this is where you'll find them. Now, as you level up your character, or if the trader XP is back on, as you level up the trader, you will unlock the other ones down the bottom here. But essentially, what you need to do is purchase these. Now, it's not a sort of amount of coin that you need, the cash, you have to trade for it. So, for instance, this bullet case, which will give us, I don't know how many, um, seven by five slots of ammo storage, I need these items at the bottom left, which is, oh, sorry, the middle of the screen, which is the gunpowder. So you need red gunpowder, green and blue, which you can find in the basement of Mortel. Now, you can farm this, and it'll cost you absolutely nothing. You can farm any of these items that can be found in the game. Obviously, some are a bit more rare than others, and they might take longer. Or what you can do is, for instance, you can click the fill button, and it'll bring up the player market, the player black market, and it'll tell you exactly how much you need to buy all these ingredients. Now, currently, I don't want to buy all these because I don't need it in this current version. But if you wanted to press fill materials, that would work. I'll I'll go for a I'll go for a cheaper one for this. So this is going to be thirty two k entirely. So if I just go to fill materials, that will automatically buy the materials I need to get this bullet case, and then you just exchange it. Transaction complete. Then you go out of there. You come back into your storage, and you find it, which will be somewhere here. There it is there, and then you just press enable, and it'll 
appear in your list here and then of course you can start using it so it'll be somewhere down here I'll just go to it there there's me now a bullet storage box and that'll store bullets in it now guys back to Vita for a moment here and I'm going to tell you the best ones to get now obviously you've just seen me buy a bullet case depends how much bullets you're going to store but generally speaking, you want to stay away from the top ones. You want the ones down the bottom here. Now, the large E-Box is a special miscellany box that can store plenty of items. You need one of them. But that, even with these gold items down there, is going to cost you an absolute fortune, probably several million. Huge misc box as well, good for items. So anything with large really is what you want to go for. You can, of course, buy the small ones when you're skint. And when you get a bit higher in the game, you can start going for the bigger ones. But generally speaking, you want at least one for each thing so that you can start storing things. It depends how much you actually keep a hold of. Like a coin chest, for instance, that stores just cash. You know what I mean? And if you've got the cash and you're overflowing, I know some people on my server and stuff have got millions of cash, at least during the closed beta on Chinese servers. And they're like, well, where am I supposed to put it all? You can buy one of these chests that will store your cash for you. But... At the end of the day, you want the largest ones possible. Now, guys, when it comes to sorting out your storage, you've got two options here. You can automatically do it or you can do it manually. Now, if you want to do it manually, arguably, it's actually better because you can better arrange your space. Obviously, I haven't got uh, the problem right now of all these different storage containers, but... Sometimes the auto sort in this game doesn't exactly put them where you want them, so you can sort of, like move them around a bit better just to fit things in and it does work out better but this is going to take it a lot longer to sort out for instance if I wanted this up here instead I could put it up there and eventually once I start whittling these into the little tiny gaps and stuff eventually it would start to give us more overall space but it's a timely thing and you have to keep on top of it at all times you know what I mean so it's going to take you a while another thing you can do is click this button on the top right which is above the home the little house here these uh, five dots and arrow if you click that you can then select all your enable all your available things and you can auto sort things and it'll automatically put things in the the better one like for instance weapons will go in the weapon box mags will go in the mag box etc if i quick organize this you'll see it'll now reset the way it was which is sort of as best as the auto sort can do you can also then sort everything quick organize and you'll see probably that my bullet storage case has now got bullets in freeing up my mag storage to have magazines in etc so that it actually frees up the other ones so that's that now guys finally uh this is for prioritizing what to keep and what not to keep in your storage now this is entirely up with you of course if you are going to hoard gear i know a lot of people do like hoarding weapons and stuff i generally just keep weapons i like Armand and stuff is generally speaking if they've got decent sort of durability left i'll generally keep them in case i run out helmets are the same so that sort of thing keep a hold of you're going to die eventually in a match and it, it helps to just have it on hand it just quickly equipped it back as well as headphones as well now meds wise guys you can see i've got a wide variety of meds in here that some are useful and some aren't now for instance these red medicines i do not see the point in them they're not very good they don't last very long i would just outright sell them don't waste your space quick bandages one slot bandages the cost like literally nothing to buy the two or the four slots so i would rather just keep them too because generally speaking if you're going to bleed in a match you know you get shot a lot usually you need more than one bandage now i will keep a hold of trauma kit surgeon packs these little ones do come in handy and the big ones and i also keep a hold of all these big med kits so meds and stuff like that keep a hold of when it comes to food and drink guys i will keep a hold of drink because when you start getting hungry or thirsty in a battle if you get thirsty your health starts to decrease if you get hungry your health doesn't start to decrease so drink is a bit more important it does help occasionally as you can see in my bag here to take at least a bottle of water with you just so if you're in the match a while you can then drink it now keys and stuff keep a hold of the ones you're going to use and sell the other ones if you find one that's really expensive and it's for a place 
really difficult to get to and you don't have a secure safe i would just sell it because if you go into a match and you get killed on the way to the door and you could have made loads of money from it you're just going to instantly regret it because who obviously obviously whoever kills you it'll take it off you and you can't get it back now grenades etc i would keep grenades smoke grenades do come in handy when it comes to if i go down here weapons and stuff like i see i keep the ones i like magazines i keep ones that go with the guns i'm using i don't keep magazines i don't need and finally ammo ammo is probably one of the worst things for me on this game i do just pick up endless amounts of ammo me me chinese server storage is absolutely riddled with piles and piles of ammo that i don't use now i do have a reason for this so for instance this m855 if i go to sell it i don't think i can oh, i can sorry you can list these on the market in stacks of 90 at a time so i do pick up expensive ammo and i put it on for sale 90 at a time but i do tend to find that all these like us and psd and, and like bad ammo starts to build up i would just outright sell them just so you keep your storage relatively clear and of course every time you sort sort it out either try and sort out yourself or click auto auto sort and it will help keep your storage clear anyway guys what to keep what not to keep entirely up to you i've told you what i tend to go for obviously this server is an unrepresentation of what i would get because as you can see the developers have decided to just give us absolutely tons of stuff i've got too much to friggin open here but in future on a real game and you're prioritizing and stuff you're low on storage i will keep what you're going to use or what you will use in future raids and just sell everything else when it comes to items guys obviously i've got tv passes here usually this is full of all loot i will either if i'm saving up for a, a box or something and i find the items i need i'll keep them if not i just put them straight in the black market and sell them so just keep your storage as free as possible so that in future you're not gonna you're gonna come out a raid or you're gonna come out with scav raid and you're gonna have places to put these things anyway guys that is the video i hope you have enjoyed it if you have please hit that like button make sure you do subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one hopefully thanks so much for watching guys appreciate the support and i'll see you in the next one bye bye for now